Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to be filming right now because I've been having quite a few problems with my microphone this past week. So I'm trying out this new microphone. It's like a clip-on microphone. So give me your honest opinion about the sound quality for this video um, because I want to know if I should just get another Blue Yeti or start using my Tascam more. I do have a 3DO that I don't use a lot and I should start using it more. Um, but anyway, as usual, I have a Patreon where I post $3 I don't post three dollars. I have a Patreon where I post an additional four videos a month for three dollars. I've had this Patreon for quite a while now so I believe there are over 60 videos on there and if you sign up today you get instant access to all of those videos. I have role plays, trigger videos, random ASMR videos, there are so many different things. And if you want to follow me on Instagram or get a custom video over on Wizio, all of that information is linked down below in my description box as well as my Patreon. The link is in the description box as well. But now let's get into tonight's video. Oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my gosh, no, you're you're completely fine. You're a little early, but that's totally on me. I just got carried away and lost total track of time. Just give me one second and I'll I'll be right with you. And yeah, no, I it's totally my fault. I just you know, was on Instagram and then TikTok, um, because, you know, I'm a really hip teacher, professor, I should say, you know, I'm sure you've picked up on that. I'm, you know, could be a college student myself. <laughs> I do this before anyone comes to see me, so don't take it, um, don't take it personally. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. So, let's get started. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, I'm literally not much older than you, so I like to, you know, stay up to date on, like, the latest, like, cool things. Yeah, because, I mean, like, obviously you can tell I, like, literally am, like, a college student myself, you know? Like, this is my first year teaching full-time, um... And yeah, like I did have to like go get a master's and stuff before teaching here, which took a couple of years, so that would obviously. But I graduated college in three and a half years, so. And then like right after that, I started my master's, so. I'm like really, you know, like younger for professors. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Um, so. Yeah, um, I just wanted to meet with you because you're in sort of an advanced class. I know that you're just a freshman, so I just wanted to see how you're doing. Um, I do tend to meet one-on-one -on -one a lot with my students, particularly those that I think could benefit from some one-on-one -on -one time. I just want to make sure you're not getting lost in the material at all, or not feeling overwhelmed. You definitely do a, a good job in class, a little quiet, which is to be expected. I remember when I was a freshman like you, you know, because it wasn't all too long ago, um, that yeah, it's just can be really overwhelming. So I know exactly what you're going through. And I just want to make sure that you're keeping up. Um, are there any questions you may have for me? Maybe things that say you might feel awkward, shy 
about asking in front of the rest of the class since, you know, they're older. Um, so I just want you to know that this is your time. No judgment. And while I have you here, I was thinking we could just go over um, some of your recent assignments as far as the essay you handed in last week. I know it was just your, your rough draft, but um, I did look it over. It, I thought, was really good. few grammar problems here and there, but even my older students, you know, we all make mistakes. We're all in a rush. I remember, like I said, it wasn't all that long ago that I was in your position and you know, you pull those crazy nights not sleeping, drinking monster rockstar energy drinks all night long, staying awake. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm like totally, you know, I get it. I know what it's like. Um, and I just want you to know that I'm here for you. So, that being said... Let's take a look. Also, remember, any questions? Um, mm, that is a really good question. You are a smart one. Um, yes, so I would recommend next semester moving forward with that course. Um, again, if this course does become a little overwhelming for you, there is still um, the add drop period, so you could drop it and don't worry, you could take the lower level course with moi. I teach both levels, so keep that in mind um, if that's something you're interested in. And if for some reason you wanted, yeah, like I think there are other professors that teach it too, but <laughs> I, I think you'd have more fun with me. Uh, okay. So, let me go through. You're doing really well overall, though, so I do want you to know that, that you're definitely one of my brightest students. Let's see. Yeah, so there was just... Um, just going over the, some of the notes I had written out. Yeah, just some grammar mistakes. Uh, there was one thing, one concept I wanted you to be a little clearer about because what you wrote was kind of broad, but that should be easy enough, just a couple sentences to kind of tighten things up there. Um, let's see. That may have been it though. Everything else I think was looking really good. Let's see. Um, oh yeah. There was one sentence, it's kind of a run-on, didn't really 100% know what you meant by it. So just take a look at that, maybe fix that up a little. Aside from that, your essay is coming along really well. I would say, honestly, one of the top essays in the class. So if you want to, I'll just give this to you now. I was going to hand them out in class tomorrow for people to go over and then the final draft you know is of course due Friday but here let me give it to you now you can get a little head start on it Shh, don't tell anyone I gave that to you I can only imagine this class is really competitive if you haven't figured that out yet I don't know why I don't know why I really strive to create like a an environment that really promotes like healthy conversations and just like mature conversations you know I don't want there to be like jealousy and competition in the classroom setting I try to call on people equally and just make sure that everyone is is feeling acknowledged um, but I don't know I just I sense some some competitiveness amongst the students Maybe it's they all want to talk to me. Um, anyway, what else? What else? So any problems with the course at all? If you are looking for any type of after-school tutor, 
I hope you do know that I do offer tutoring for this course. Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah, you've already signed up in the tutoring center for it. I'm sure that is all fine and dandy, but do keep in mind, I do teach the course, so I'd probably be better at tutoring you than some student who took the course last semester. Well, I switched things up from semester to semester, so just because they tell you that they know everything that's going on because they just took the course, I wouldn't trust them. I switch things up. I keep it so that no one can uh, get off that easy. But um, but my tutoring sessions people have set up in real life changing. Um, I think that that could be like really fun. We could like go to like a restaurant, like a diner, coffee shop, my home, anywhere really to um, to do the session. No, that's not weird. You're in college now. Yeah, no, I know. I totally remember it was like a thing at my school where right after you graduated, you were like allowed to friend the faculty on Facebook. Everyone thought it was like so cool. But anyway, um, the point is that's not what college is like. Like we could be Facebook friends, Instagram friends, TikTok pals, if that was the sort of thing you were into. Um, but like college is super different. I'm like I'm one of your peers, I'm your friend, we're like pretty much the same age, give or take like a few years. So it's like a completely different experience and I think you'll really get to know that. So like it wouldn't be weird. It may seem like it would be weird but like if I was your tutor and like we met off campus it'd be like totally normal. Yeah, I can tell you still feel kind of like weird about it or uncomfortable, but trust me, I do this like all the time. Um, actually, it's like a great way for students to kind of like, I feel like make that jump from realizing like your professors are real people. Like, um, feel like I'm like a good starter professor, you know, because I'm like so young, like you. I'm like relatable and like fun and like you'll just like really like getting to know me. So I don't know, fear call. I don't have to tutor you. You can totally stick with like whatever student who is it exactly that's tutoring you. Oh. Um. What grade did they tell you they got in my course? Mm, yeah. Well, giving out another student's grade would be like totally breaking like a ton of rules, but all I'm gonna say is, um, they could be telling you the truth, but they may have inflated their grade a little. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not saying they're lying. I'm just saying they're lying. <laughs> so you should definitely let me be your tutor. Um, yeah, and then like maybe we can like, like I said, coffee shop, diner, my apartment, anywhere you feel comfortable. It's totally your call. Um, we could start this weekend. Trust me, it won't be weird. It won't be weird. Um, yeah, why don't we go to the coffee shop, like, right off campus? I mean, if you feel more comfortable, we could stick to on campus, but trust me, the best coffee is off campus. And then maybe we could, like, I don't know, like, afterwards, make it, like, a day, whole day thing. Um, I was gonna go to a museum the Museum of Fine Art, right nearby. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, I just love walking around there and, you know, spending the day, making a whole day of it. So if you wanted to tag along afterwards, that would totally be okay. Uh, and then I was going to like meet up with some friends and go out for drinks. I know you're not 21, but 
So if you wanted to like make a whole day of it, that could be so fun. Um, I mean, if you are not comfortable with that, then we don't have to. I mean, I don't see what's so weird about maybe going on a date with your professor. I'm not saying it's a date, but it has date-ish qualities to it, I guess you could say. But group date-ish, my friends would be there. I mean, like, we're pretty much the same age. I don't see what's weird about it. Like, I know I'm, like, your teacher, but, I mean, we're literally the same age. Can you, you see a wrinkle on this face? Yeah, we're literally the same age. <laughs> okay, no, I totally get it. It is completely fine. I get that you might feel uncomfortable and think it's weird. I so get it. I really do. I would not want to make you feel uncomfortable whatsoever. I get that you might not want to hang out with your professor on the weekends. I know you have parties to go to and um, other girls our age to hang out with. No, we're like, we're literally the same age. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, wait, we were going to do the tutoring session this weekend, right? Did I say Saturday? I'm going to be out of town. Silly me. Yeah, it looks like I won't be able to tutor you after all. Um... Okay, so that's, oops, that's too bad. Oh, the next weekend, let me see. Out of town again. So many weddings to attend. Yeah. Oh, I know. Well, yes, this, this is your, my grade book, but it also has my uh, calendar. Lots of different things going on under this clipboard. Yeah, so looks like I won't be able to tutor you after all. Um, I hear the tutor center has really good tutors. You didn't cancel that appointment with that student of mine, right? Yeah, I would just stick with them. I'm, I'm sure they know what they're talking about. They made it through my class after all. Who cares if they didn't get an A? Okay, I have to go. I'm meeting up with another student. Um, but thank you for stopping by. Yeah, thank you. It was really good talking to you. Good luck with the rest of the semester. And don't be a stranger if you have any questions at all about anything. You know where the tutoring center is. Remember, that tutor of yours made it through my course. I'm sure they know everything, so you don't have to stop by here again. Unless you really want to, but... I know you're capable, you'll make it through the semester, so best of luck to you. See you in class. Bye.